All right, y'all, sorry about that. Just bear with me. <clears throat> seems like the new the problem is my desktop is the furthest away from the the modem and the router and I'm not hardwired and it's having a very diff my towers having a very difficult time with picking up the Wi-Fi because I am downstairs I'm first floor front of the house and the internet comes in and the router is in in my sister's room upstairs on the back side of the house so it is, I have a very difficult time getting my, keeping my computer connected to the internet. So we're working on, we're trying to get a TP-Link. Um, once I get the TP-Link, it may be a little bit better, but for right now, it is, it's just absolutely horrible. Um, I'm going to try... Bear with me a second. I'm going to try and do like a split screen between having the uh, Streamlabs running and my stream running on my second monitor. So just bear with me a second while I try and jump back in here. If I get disconnected this time, I'm just going to stay offline and work for a bit. until we get that TP link. That's the only other thing we can think of. Because as soon as I connect to the internet, it, it just drops out. And nobody's home right now, so it's even... Um, so I'm pretty much on the Wi-Fi myself and I'm still having issues. So it does make it difficult to stream. All right, let's get, let's try and get this field filled in. So I even took my computer and disconnected like everything that was connected to the internet off, turned it all off before I went live and it's still having the same issues. So I have my phone hooked to, instead of going direct to the Wi-Fi, I have my phone hooked to it using it like a tethering device and I'll see if that works any better. Now am I going to be able to get, no I'm not going to be able to really get a long, well, I can get a long skinny field along here. All right, this extra road section we don't need. Can I put a long skinny field through here? Because I really don't want to push this water. I can, yeah, I don't want to push that water back any further. Can we get a long skinny field through here? I think we can. It's not going to be very big, but you need some... I guess we need some... Uh, smaller fields as well, right? Let's see what we can do. And uh, when I am playing 22 too, my, my also my computer runs like super hot. And it's not at the greatest graphics card, but it's not the lowest graphics card. And I even went in and turned the graphics settings down. So um, let me try and adjust this a little bit further. All right, there we go. I'm just trying to trying to watch Streamlabs and comments at the same time. Just so I'll know if it if I drop back out or not. I guess we could. Nah, we'll just keep it straight. We'll keep her straight. You'll get plenty of grass if you decide to play on this corner of the map. Be 
Yeah, I haven't even played. I played 22. I probably have less than four or five hours in the game. Alright, so how close to the road do I want to go? I want to leave room for trees. And actually, let's do this. Let's line it up with this field. That's about where I'm at. Yeah, let's just line it up with this field. If you want to plow them together, it'll pretty much be a straight shot. And then let's break this field here. And then we can continue this field. Let's get it squared up. Mother Nature! Tornado on the ground near El Reno, Oklahoma. Oh, some days it feels like there's one on the ground every day. It's supposed to be, it's, we're gonna, we were 72 yesterday, it's supposed to hit 70 again today. So I'll take that on December 1st. Yeah, this will be a nice, small, little, skinny, long field over here. Hope everyone is doing well today. I don't I ran a bunch of air in just I was gone most of the day yesterday. Now we can push this field down. Yeah, it's going to be a nice, long, skinny field. Let's push it down this way. How far do we want to go? Unfortunately, it's going to be a lot of fields and grass painting today. Well, I did not finish the beach area, so I still have all that to do. How far do I want to come down? I want to come down pretty much straight. Yes, yeah, just leave a grass edge on this side. Yeah, it's going to be a nice long skinny field up here. So let's just run it all the way down to the mountain and leave room for a road. So I think we're going to put a second bridge going onto that little island.
on the back side. Uh, so let me let's continue down here. But I was surprised on when I, I jumped on Steam yesterday because I was curious to see what the reviews were like on 22, and I was surprised on how um, <laughs> how positive the reviews are. I would not have told you they would have been positive. I haven't even played on the Valley map at all since my last stream, so it's been a while since I even played 19. I haven't recorded any new episodes for YouTube either. Between Thanksgiving and my daughter being in from Texas, real life stuff going on. I haven't haven't had any play time. still running a straight line? Yeah, we're still running a straight line. Uh, let me just take care of this. So this map should be fun for those who are saying the hell with 22 and sticking with 19, which I am really, really close to that point. So yeah, we'll leave this open for meadow um, because if you build your farm, we're gonna build a farmhouse on this island and leave it open meadow. So if you want to put any animal pens down, it'll give you space here to put animal pens down, give you space on the island to put animal pens down, it'll give you space by field five to put animal pens down. Now let's grab, Let's grab, I gotta fix this road. Let's fix the road and we'll grab the bridge. This road's gotta go down a little bit shorter. Oh, I don't have the whole road. Uh, let's go like 0.63 right there, perfect. All right, so let's grab, let's grab this bridge. Uh, where are we at? Here. And let's pull it over. This way. And we're going to have to probably make it a little bit longer, but I want it as close to Let's see, we'll get it close to this edge. And do we want to pull it? Yeah, let's just pull it down this way a little bit. And then 
probably, uh, do I want to, yeah, let's turn it. Actually, let's turn it, and we'll pull it back a little bit. Let's go, like, 60 so we have a nice even number. That'll work. All right, so let's now, let's take this section, and we'll slide her out. And then we'll add this section in. Am I going to have to add one more? Or will this one be long enough? No, we're going to have to add one more. And then we can pull this one. In. Uh, now, can we? Yeah, we can. So the problem is these are now not touching the water. So I'm going to have to fix. So this needs to come down to about there. And then I believe I can pull this other section down. So let's take this height here throw it there throw that one there and then we'll pull these other ones down to make them a little bit longer Let's get this bridge done and we'll pull the next middle section down. All right, so you need to come down. that one down. Now we need to duplicate this one. And I'm probably going to stretch it out so it's a little bit taller. Uh, no, we're probably going to end up putting two of them in. So if I stretch it out much taller, it's going to stretch the bricks out. Well, let's see if it doesn't look, if it doesn't look deformed, we're going to go with it. Well, that'll work. Let me grab that height. Oh, crap. Now I'm going to have to duplicate these and slide them over. All right, let's see if we can't get them to line up. Get one on the end. We're gonna have, uh, let's let's finish these three and we'll work on the end. Now let's see what we can do over here. Can we take this section No, we can only work with this section. All right. Let's pull this section over and see if we can't get it lined up here a little bit.
you all think about these tall bridges? The uprights are a pain sometimes. And now let's pull one of these over. All right, that works. That works. Now let's grab this guy and pull him over to this side. All right, now we're going to have to fix the angle. Oh, is it going to let me? So if we go minus 60. Oh, nope, that's not going to work. Uh, minus 30. How close are we? Well, it's just. Nope, still not close. So, oh, it's not going to let me twist this. I. It's not going to let me twist it. All right, so let's delete that one. We're going to have to make one over here. So let's grab you, duplicate you, pull you down, and we'll make you taller. That'll work. Yeah, this is going to be more fun than the valley map because everything's going to be there's no buildables on on this map. So everything will be pre-built for you. you. But you'll still have to put all your own factories down. It's only going to have the basics in it. Pretty much just fishing the slaughterhouse and the hen house, smokehouse and oil wells. And then everything else will be put your own down. Alright, that works for the oh no, we gotta we gotta fix this one over here. Alright, let's grab this guy. Give me uh this section. And we'll bring this one down. Probably gonna end up in the dirt, but that's all right. See how far down we get it. Uh, that'll work. Pull one of these over, make it look like there's a part of a bridge there, and what we can do is we can even pull that out a little bit further if we need to. But that's going to fix that. Let's grab road section. So let's grab uh, this one here. Pull it over to here. Now we'll see if we can get the angle. It should be either 60 or minus 60. It's going to be minus 60. So let's get this guy lined up. Now we're going to have to pull the ground up just a little bit. on this end. Oh, let's go to round. So pull
pull the ground up a little bit, just bring it up to the height of the bridge. And uh, let's take, make this one a little bit longer. And we'll take this one and we'll slide it down a little bit. And we'll make this one a little bit longer. And now we're going to have to pull the ground up just a little bit over here as well, I think. Or is that one? Or is that one? For, no, that one's pretty flat. All right. So that's going to get us a bridge over here. So now we just need a dirt road coming down. So let's grab. Oh, uh, did I lose my stream? I did not lose my stream. Okay. So let's grab rough dirt. Yeah, let's grab the rough dirt. Let's go. Where do we want to come in? Let's come in over here. And now we'll sort of run it along the mountain. come out this way. And then on to the main road. So there's two ways onto that island. So this bridge will take you all the way across the map to the other side of the map and then this road will get you down into another area. All right. Now unfortunately we have a ton of grass to paint. Uh, which way? Oh, I'll start over here. Actually, let's do a quick save because I haven't saved them a little bit. But yeah, I was literally like banging my head against the wall for a couple days trying to get stuff pulled out of 19 into 22. And finally I said to hell with it. Oh, we gotta put these field, let me put these field markers in before we paint the grass in. Uh, scripts. Let's light up our field so we can see them. All right, so let's pull field five, duplicate that. This becomes 06. And then we'll slide it down. Let's grab the field marker. Uh, let's put you more in the center. Alright, so corner one is done. 
corner two needs to come in a little bit and then corner three can go here and then we'll call that one field six let's duplicate that one we'll call it field seven and let's pull it over this way uh, hold on where's corner two so corner one is there corner two is up that way okay so let's work with corner one Corner one. All right, corner two is going to be up here. And then corner three, we will throw here. And then get our about center, we'll throw our field marker in. So you'll go about there. All right, so that's field six and seven. So let's get the let's get that taken off. So let me click on the blank area. All right, turn that off so we don't see the blue. All right, so those fields are now done. Let's go back to square. Grab our grass. Uh, let's do the field line first, then we'll come back and do the road. My favorite chore. get up here in a second I think kick the ceiling fan off it's getting warm in here yeah, bear with me a second all right let's get as soon as we get this uh, corner done we need to jump in the game and see what it looks like. I haven't been in the game in this map in a couple of days. I've been working on it without going in the game and looking at it. So I get in game, I just tend to drive around for half an hour and enjoy the views. Field sites done. Let's get the road site done. Uh, 
looks like we've got missed a little bit there. Let's put it back in. I know, this is like super boring to watch. Probably seen a hundred hours of this already. Let's grab, yeah, let's get the field edge done. Oh, missed a spot in the field. We're going to have to go back and fix that. So what we'll do is we'll get the all the grass and textures done around these two fields we just built and then we'll jump in the game and see what it looks like and then after we then we'll work on this island and then we'll work on this little strip down here but yeah if we can get this corner of the map done today is my goal I got all, I do have all the boat docks in, um, all of the ferry docks are in, but I haven't done the fishing spots in the water yet. So we still have to do the fishing spots. The only fishing spots that are done are the top of Center Mountain and the top of mining mountains so we have all the single little lakes to do yet and the river to do yet all right so we have oh if we, i just there's i didn't miss a spot there's just grass in the middle of the field let's get rid of that all right let's go which way can i see the grass better uh we can work down this side let's work no i can see it better in the other direction let's come back up Let's work our way down this side first. We'll get the field side done, and then I'll get the road side done. I'm trying to keep an eye on my stream. Field side is done. Let's grab road side.
right, now let's grab this side of the field. So I do need to send two factories to uh, Dixie and Farm Chick at some point today. I've got the finished the biodiesel so we can turn grains, not grains, I think it's canola. I forget, I think canola and I forget which other grain I use, I think two of them. Canola and maize to biodiesel. And then I built a soybean to milk factory, 422. So I'll get those out to the testers at some point. Uh, let's, yeah, let's work our way along the water. Oh, I can't see from that direction. All right, let's work our way down this field then instead. Yeah, work. Let's fill some of this gap in. And I might as well mark my way down. So at some point, I'm going to have to download Blender and start messing around in it. Or nothing's going to get done for 22. In the way of a map. get the grass off the road since we're here. This farm chick, I'm still loving the valley map. I haven't played since my last stream. I just, between Thanksgiving and my daughter being in from Texas, 22 coming out, I am trying. was trying to mess it around with the editor. I just haven't had time to play. 
getting stuff done for YouTube. There's just real life stuff going on. There's just not enough hours in the day. I'd rather spend my time learning 22, learning Blender, and finishing this map right now than playing. Yeah, I had that. Papa Smurf sent me the uh, Ritchieville map, map converted to 22, but it doesn't have anything in it. It's basically just a, the plain ground. But I don't even have a ro I don't even have roads to put into the map to start building a road system. So I tried pulling these roads out of this map to put into that map, and they're getting the shapes error because they need to be 3D and not 2D. I know Winston's working on a street set for 22. Once he's done with those streets and I have streets to put in the map, then we'll jump back on 22 and we'll start putting the road system in. But I don't even have roads to start with to put into 22 um, at this point. Let's get, so that's the road side of the field is done. Let's get the back side of the field done. Yeah, let's get this side of the field done and we'll fill all the gaps. So I'm going to do a quick save. Let my hand become unnumb. I'm just going to move my mouse and keyboard a little bit. Haven't played much over the Thanksgiving break and today the Christmas tree is going up. Nice! Yeah, the um... I will be home alone. I'll be, I'll be home alone for Christmas. See what kind of mischief I can get into. But now I'll be babysitting the dog and the cat. My sister and her husband are going camping for the week. Um, my daughter will be at her mom's house for Christmas and New Year's and I would love to go to my son's in Pennsylvania I just can't do the trip so I will be home alone dog and cat sitting so not even decorating not even putting a tree up I will definitely cook myself a nice Christmas ham though. But it'll be... Hopefully I won't have those two robbers trying to break in like the movie or I'll have to booby trap the house. Actually, with the dog, no one dared break it in here. They tried to come in through the window. They'd be looking for new underwear to put on.
Oh, this is so time consuming. Yeah, and then Pop, I was talking to Papa Smurf a little bit over the last few days, and he's having a hard time with his computer and um, 22 also. So he's having the same difficulties with 22 that a lot of players are having. It just runs really slow. He can't run. It runs slow and hot. He can't run a lot of mods. Um, so basically, he's trying to convert some vehicles over, but really can't do any playing or streaming with 22. Alright, now let's work on... work on getting this filled in. Oh my god, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> It'd be fun to go through that whole... Uh, like, I watched Home Alone and Home Alone 2 the other night. They're like my favorite movies. No one dare try and break in here with the Roddy. He'll lick him to death, but uh, they'll end up needing new underwear if they try and come in the house. I know I missed a spot right here in the center. As soon as we get this little bit of grass done, we can get the trees in, and then we'll jump in the game and see what this looks like before we start the next area. Once we get the grass in, it goes a lot quicker. Alright, so let's work our way down. Yeah, down this way. have to turn the camera this way or I can't see the grass. There's one thing I did find out though there's a new airline that flies out of Tulsa, which I'm only like 25 minute drive to Tulsa. And I can get a direct flight from Tulsa, round trip flight from Tulsa to Austin where my daughter is. Um, normal price any time of the year is like 45 bucks. And I can fly from Tulsa to Austin, it's so cool. Or she can fly up from Austin for like 45 bucks. All right, let's push this grass back a little bit. So let's push the mountain back into the water a little bit along here. And then we'll get the grass in here. have to go from this angle though. Ah, let's 
let's work our way from the road back. Almost done. Won't take, and then the trees will go really quick. And then we have to, I've got to break the farmlands up. So, won't be too long to finish this corner. Or actually, just these two fields. We still have the island to do, and the area across the street to do. Take this back first. And then we'll work along the water. And then I was looking at that airline that flies into Austin and they do direct flights. To, I didn't look to see where this, this I didn't look this, at the city, but they do really inexpensive flights to Florida as well. But I didn't see if it was like what part of Florida, if it was like Orlando or any of the like beach resorts like uh, Miami or wherever. Uh, let's push this back a little bit first. And then we'll throw grass along here. But the round trip flights to Florida are like 80 bucks round trip. Pretty much any time of the year. It's once you get to Florida, <laughs> by the time you pay for rental car and hotel, that's where they get you. But getting there doesn't seem to be too bad. Right, let's push you back a little bit. We'll get grass. in here. Alright, now all we have to do is the other side of the road. Between here and the mountain. I'm wanting my daughter to fly in from PA but haven't looked at tickets yet. We were surprised. We were looking at tickets for my daughter to come up from Austin instead of driving up. We were going to have her fly into Tulsa, but everything was booked for Thanksgiving, so she couldn't get a flight because she had to work the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, so she couldn't fly out till Wednesday night and everything was booked. So she ended up driving from Austin to Dallas, where her stepbrother and his wife is, which is about a three and a half hour drive. And she spent the night with them. And then she drove up Thursday morning. So from Dallas up to here was like a five hour drive.
I'm looking forward to going in game and see what this looks like. Not too much longer. Yeah, I would love to fly to um, into PA to spend time, spend Christmas with my uh, son, my daughter-in-law, and the grandbaby, but it's just not going to happen. All right, let's grab, before we go any further, let's grab our bushy bits and just get them in by along the mountain. Uh, forest grass. Yeah, let's just get that into here. She's almost walking. She's take. She'll take a couple steps, and then she'll fall over. Like so, if you're st if you're if she's standing up like next to the couch, and you put yourself, you know, three or four feet away from her, she'll take a couple steps and then like fall down. And then get frustrated. Alright, let's finish this up here. Alright, so that's going to take care of the grass and the bushy boats. Let's do another save. We'll get the trees in. And we'll paint the farmlands then. And we'll go in game before we build the island and then this side of the road. So I want to put a placeholder in for a silo slash um, something along the monorail track so we can store our workers. So somewhere over here we've got to try and figure out where we're going to put a silo slash um, passenger worker apartment building. I'll start down here. We'll work our way around. So that was field five. So these are fields six and seven. So let's come up here. Uh, let's close everything I don't need open. I don't need the roads open. Uh, let's close field five. We can close the bridges. That yeah, closes everything that's open. Alright, let's duplicate that transform group. This will be field six and seven. Uh, and seven. And then let's grab... Uh, let's start with one of these. And we'll pull it over to this side of the road. So let's go edit, cut, and paste. Yeah, and then we'll get it pulled back where I want it, which is about there. So let's get these lined up. going into the island and then let's get one more on the corner this is an easier it's a smaller tree it's easy to put here on the corner and then we'll pull this guy down and 
And now let's move transform groups. Let's go edit, cut, and paste. All right, now let's get this guy down along the road. on this side. Coming up on a corner, I'll throw in there, but not to pull it back a little bit. And then we'll come around the corner, put another one. Uh, it's going to interfere with that field. All right, let's do this. Then let's pull this guy down a little bit further. We'll pull this guy down over here. And then we'll pull another one. Let's turn it to zero. Yeah, right about there. Let's throw one closer to the road as well. All right, now it takes care of that. And let's get our trees along the water. So our roadside is done. Let's grab one of these and spin around. And we'll go, oh, I've got to put it in the other transform group. So let's go edit cut, let's move it down here. And we'll get some of these in. And we're going to, I'm not putting a lot of trees in the grass. We're going to pretty much leave this white open.
We'll go into the islands map and we'll pull a house out for whatever we're going to put on that island. side done. Oh, crap, not what I wanted to do. the trees we're going to put in. Let's head over here and we'll get farmlands done. Now I think I did the western edge. We'll find out where did I leave off. I left off with yeah, the western border. So we did field four we have to do field five. So you become field five. Uh, let's go and take, turn it on. It's going to be number 43. So I want bits zero, one, three, and five. So we want farmland 0 1 3 and 5 number 43 is that what we wanted that is what we wanted all right let's grab our paintbrush so we're going to take field 5 we got a mountain here so let's just go along the mountain uh, okay so the mountain ends we need to go along the water so you got to come down along the water up to here. All right, that'll work. And we can run it off the edge of the map. And then we can run it down. Let me go up on my speed. So we can run this farmland. down the edge of the map. Or did I want to make a border there first? Oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll do a border. Now, uh, now what do I want? What do I want to do with the, across the street? Do we want to own, if we own field five, do we want to own the trees across the street? Or do I want to make that a separate farmland? Now let's just own the trees across the street. So we'll make it all in one. So this farmland, let me make my circle much bigger. I can go much bigger now. So this farmland is going to go pretty much along the mountain to the lake, around here to this road, and back out. This will be farmland for field five. And you'll get a little, that big grassy area with it. So that'll be five. And then I'll have to zoom in here a little bit closer to get field six done. So let's go to, so you're now going to be field six. Uh, change the price because it's no longer just a border. So I want bits two, three, and five. 
And is that number 44? It is number 44. But now I need to go... Let's go to square a second. So I need to get this... Oh, wrong one. I need to get this bumped up to the road. So I need a straight line here. And then we'll need a straight line to the water, which we're at the water. Okay. And then we'll take this farmland down to here. Alright, so that'll be field six. Now where do I want to split field seven? So you become field seven. So it becomes bits zero two. So I just have to add a zero. And when you become 45, Nikki Fizz just subscribed with Tier 1. Thank you for uh, currently on a nine-month streak. That is awesome. Thank you very much. All right, so we want to split field 7 about in the middle of the grass. So that's going to go about there. So I've got to run this line straight. back to the water. And then we can take field 7 back. Now I don't need to be neat because we can clean it up after we get across the road. So I can take this down to the mountain. So we'll bring field 7 around to here. And then we don't have the circle done yet. We don't have this field done yet. So I'm not going to paint the farmlands in for those quite yet. So let's do, let me turn farmlands off. Let's do a quick save. We'll jump in game and see what this looks like. Nikki Fizz, thank you so much. Much appreciated. I'll show you what I did with the town. because so I finished the town and then I been working my way down the, the this I think it's the western side of the map. I gotta remember to turn Farm Sim 19 on and not Farm Sim 22. All right, so what map are we on? We're on Hidden Lakes. Let's jump into 19. Cause I haven't checked log for errors in a while too, so we can check the log for errors. So let's jump in. Do I have any save game start? And I don't. So jump into save nine. And we'll buy a truck. I'll show you the downtown area 
and we'll look at the couple fields I put in because I haven't looked at any of the fields I put in. I've been working on this map and I can't sleep mostly at night, so like 1.30 to like 4.30 in the morning usually end up working on the map. And then lay back down and get a couple hours of sleep and then get back up at 7. But it's been about a week since I actually worked on this map. It was well before Thanksgiving. Are you going to even start? You are going to start. Okay, ignore the map because it's still the island's map. Let's grab ourselves a truck. Uh, what color are we going with today? Today seems like a lime green kind of day. So I have the downtown finished. Um, except for the parked cars. Still gotta put the, the only thing I left to do is put the parked cars in. So vehicle shop to the left, animal dealer. Um, animal dealer and then the beehive production should be finished. So beehive production should be in. It is. We don't own it, so we're not going to get the pop-up menu. But beehive production's in. And we continue down. We have the sell points in for your bales. So we have your bale sales are right here. So this sell point's working. And then we have, this will be the spinnery cell point. This one, I thought I put the spinnery cell point in. I guess I didn't. We're going to have to check on that. So spinnery is right there. And then we have Lowe's will be a cell point. And that brings us out to the corner where uh, Walmart is. Oh, I know what I did. I put two damn cell points in for the spinner. I forgot I put the one in with the spinning ball. And then I put another f cell point over here and named this one the spinnery. Okay, I'm going to move the spinnery and then we'll make this some kind of other generic cell point. So that's that side of the road. And then driving back, we have Casey's, McDonald's, KFC, Applebee's, Tractor Supply, Napa, 7-Eleven, uh, Taco Bell, Domino's, Dollar General, Aldi's, and then there should be like a post office and then a bank. And then down a little bit further, we have the sports bar, which will be a sell point. And then none of Richie's is in. And I don't have any of the sell points in yet, but the buildings are all done. So we have none of Richie's here. And that takes us out to a church across the street. That's completely finished. And then the nursing home. Nursing home here is completely finished. And then um, to my right we have uh, Mary's is in and completely finished. Except for the parked cars. So this is all done. And then behind all of the cell points. So once you get past Shady Pines and get to Nunna Richie's, no, I'm sorry, past the sports bar. So once you get past the sports bar, there's going to be a road behind all of these to put the cell points in. So you'll be able to drive back here and get to all the cell points. So 
I gotta move the cell point for the spinnery. Town is in the center of the map, yes. I'm trying to keep everything s as close to the center of the map as possible. So it's much easier in single player, you're not doing a lot of driving. Because it is a 16x map. So I'm trying to keep as much of the stuff as close to the center as possible. So that is what I have done in the center of town so far. And then up this way, I moved the apartment building where you can store your workers. And I'm actually going to turn it into express personnel, but we haven't, I haven't gotten that far yet. I need to check messages here in a second. Something just popped up on my phone. So over here, I don't have the apartment complex. So this, instead of being a, just an apartment complex for storage, I'm going to turn, we're going to put a little building, a building next to it here, like a retail shop, and it's going to turn into express personnel. So when you make your workers, we're not going to go to eight different bus stops to pick them up. They're all going to be in here. So you can come in here with a bus and pick up as many workers as you want, or you can come up to the monorail and pick up as many workers as you want. So there will only be one spot to pick up workers on this map. It's going to be right here and it'll hold, we can make it hold like 5,000 or 10,000 workers. And then if we drive straight onto BGA Island, it is now finished. So we have um, this gas trigger should now be working. It is. So that gas trigger is working. So the gas trigger is working. BGA is working. The hen house is working. And then come around to drive straight across the bridge. It'll get you to the slaughterhouse. So slaughterhouse is working. I'm going to get rid of that. Well, that's the bus stop where you drop your workers off. So slaughterhouse is complete. Don't need to build it, thank God. This will be one of three fish processing plants. So this island is now done. Then we come back out. And then we have the slaughterhouse. I'm sorry, the smokehouse is working, so that's in and done. And we'll drive down this way. Uh, does this take me around? It does not. Let's go down to the next road. So slaughterhouse. I just got to put the tree. I have to put the trees along the road in. So you go from the slaughterhouse to the boathouse. Boathouse is in and working. Oh, I got to put a railroad tr crossing right there. So boathouse is in as well. Oh, can't get through there. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. We got to fix this a little bit. Okay, so I got to come in here and fix that water dip right there a little bit. So, boathouse is in. Uh, got to do a little bit of work. All right, so I got to put that train 
train crossings have to go in. What the heck are you doing way over there? That traffic spline should not be there. Why did that car come out of nowhere? I had the traffic splines done. Alright, hold on. I gotta go look at that traffic spline. Why do we have a traffic spline right there? Let's fly over there a second. I thought I had the traffic splines done. Why that car came out in the middle of nowhere is beyond me. So what did I mess up with the traffic splines? Yeah, everything on this map is going to be pre-built. I want it to be um, single-player friendly in a 16x map. But why the hell did I have a car coming out of here in the middle of nowhere? Where's my traffic splines? What did I miss? Spline 1, let's make you visible. So it's not that one. Spline 2, let's make you visible. It's not that one. Spline 3 is around the outside of the map. Spline 4 is here. There's absolute oh, oh crap, the spline's messed up. I gotta fix spline 4. Alright, so I'll come back and we'll fix spline 4. Oh, back into the game. Alright, we've got to remember to fix spline 4 when we go back in game. So, that is finished. This area here is going to be all fields. So to my left and to my right, we'll do all fields. Yeah, this map will not have a train, so the monorail will carry your workers. Um, no regular train in this map. So this will take you to Animal Island. So all the animal pens are pre-placed. We have the farmhouse here and a big empty lot. I'm not building anything here. I'm going to leave this empty so you can put all your own placeables down. Put all your own sheds down. Put all your own silos down. So Animal Island is actually finished as well. So we continue our drive. Over this way. So I have the apiary is in. It's in and working. So it's right here. And then if down this dirt road, I have uh, Lucy's will be a cell point. So it's over here. So cell point back here for Lucy's. And you can bring your horses back here to train. This is one of two oil wells, and it's already in and working. So oil well is already done. 
just waiting for you. And then straight here will be another field. So we come over this way, and this is where I've been working, is this area back in here. Southern Truck is raiding with a party of two. Thank you so much, much appreciated. So this gas station is in and working. So a little gas station right here. And then that'll take you to what's gonna be the mining area. So Earthworm Factory um, in the distance is already working. And then if you take this bridge back here, here's where I've been working. So if you come back this way, we come across this bridge. We have a little forest here. So a small forest, which will take us to a fishing area. I don't have the fishing in the water working yet. So this will be a great place to put your sawmill down if you want. And then this will take you down to a fishing area, another small forest, and a fishing area. Uh, I just don't have the boats in the map yet, and the fishing in the water is not working yet. So fishing area, but we have the earthworms are working and your fish is working. So you can drop your, pick up your fish here to take them to fish processing and then drop your earthworms off here so you could fill your fishing boat. So that's working. And then this will take you... Hello, my farming friend. Yeah, I'm not too happy with 22, so it's gonna sit on the back burner for a bit. So over here we have, again, ignore the map. This is field one. And I'm zoomed out as far as I can go. So field one. Plenty of room for silage so you can cut all of this grass. So we continue along the mountain. You have field two. Uh, field three. And field coming up, field three we're at now, and then field four is down here. I'm not putting any water fields in this map either. So field four. These are your, some of your smaller starter fields. And then, again, multiplayer friendly because we'll have another area down here for fishing. So we'll have a fishing boat built in down here. So again, you could pick up your, drop your earthworms off here, load them in the boat, and then pick up your fish here to take to the pr fish processing plant. And then a, you can park your ferry there as well. And then we'll come out, come out here. And then we'll have this one is the clay pit. So we got your or clay or silt. I can't remember. That one is silt. So your silt mine is right there. And then this runs along the outside of the mountain we were just driving in.
So a bridge here to get you across to Mining Island. I'm not going to head over that way. And your f you can park your ferry down here. So spot here for two different ferries. So you can take your ferry from here and then go inside a mo mining mountain with your with your ferry and then do all your mining inside the mountain. So you're going to have to use the ferry to get in and out of the mountain. But I'm not going to show you all the ferry today. And then you can pick salt water up here. Um, to take to the evaporator to make your um, sea salt with. And then we're going to go look at the couple new fields we just put in this morning. Unfortunately this map is still a good three to four months out. Gonna be oh there's a t I'll take you inside the mountain I don't have the mining materials in yet but I'll take you inside the mountain and show you so we're gonna head up to the area we were been working on this morning it's not quite finished yet so we come up to the next level and we'll put fields up here this will be all fields up here. probably a little forest and a bunch of fields. So head around this way and we'll start getting into the area we were on. Probably going to do like one massive field right here um, in that big square all the way to the edge of the map. Nikki, yeah, give me a few minutes, I'll show you the what's going to be the mining area. There's actually two mining areas on the map. So ignore the textures to the left, we don't have that done yet. We didn't get to this area of the map yet. thinking like a forest right there. And then this will take us to what we put in this morning which are fields 5, 6, and 7. So I've got to put a few more trees in along there. This is the small end of the map. The other end of the map, the eastern side of the map, is much bigger. There's going to be a lot more room for big fields over there. couple missing trees right there. Okay, so I got a little bit of tree work to do along here. So this will get you, we're coming up on field five.
and it will come across, so field 5 to the left, field 6 to the right, and then we're going to come across to um, an island where we're going to, I'm going to put, I'm going to put a farmhouse and a silo here, and I'm going to leave this all open, this will be an open grass meadow, so if you want to put your, if you want to claim this area as your farmhouse and your starting area, then you could put all your animal pens down here and put all of your own garages and silos and stuff down here. So this will be a big grass meadow with one farmhouse and a silo to get you started. So this is field six. It'll take us across to field seven. I'm going to leave this open so if you want to put more animal pens down or whatever or take your plow plow all these fields together you can the area across the street where I'm driving now is not done yet that's what we're going to work on next that'll be field 8 Now if I continue straight, it's going to take us all the way across the valley and then into the, over across to the western side of the map. We've got to fix that up right. And then this will take us down to another area of the map that's sort of off by itself. So this will be, there's one way to get into this area of the map here. And this and then there's one other area here so this will be its own area of the map it's going to be hard to put a field in here but we'll get one or two in and we'll get a road in here so we'll probably put a dirt road along the mountain once you get down here we'll see how far we get today this is where we're headed to this section of the map So dirt road here along the mountain where I'm driving, and then we'll have, there's going to be a, so there's a bridge here to, I think I'm going to put like a little forest back here, and not a field. So this will probably end up being like a small forest, and then when we continue around, over here there should be another road here going down I just don't have the textures done yet yeah so I just gotta fix this area here we'll have another road coming down and this will take us back to what's going to be mining island but yeah let me show you what's inside of mining island Oh, hit the bridge. So if we go over this way, uh, where is my water fill? Crazy Moose 3, crazy amount of work goes into these maps. Absolutely ignore this map um, because it's the uh, this is built off of my island's base. Let's teleport ourselves over here for a minute. Let's run back this way. Now the the fishing boats will be built into the map and the ferries will be built into the map. I just haven't gotten that far yet. But let's head over this way where you're going to park your ferry.
and I'll buy a ferry. I'll show you how to get into Mining Mountain. I'm going to jump into the water a second. Let me throw my store delivery mod down. You will not have to do this. These ferries eventually will get built into the map. Uh, let's grab a ferry. And let's see if I can get it to pop its wheels out of the ground. All right, there we go. So there'll be there's going to be two docks here to park your ferry. So multiplayer friendly. We'll have like five or six ferries built into the map. So the only way to get into the mining island is with the ferry. So you'll park your ferry here, load up your mining equipment. It's not a far drive to get down here to go into the mountain. So you only have to drive over here. Now you could drive this ferry anywhere in the water. So you could take it anywhere where there's water on the map. But you'll have to come in here. And then inside the mountain we will have a massive area for mining. This will be one of two areas you could drive into for mining. Now I don't have the product on the ground yet. That'll be put in last. But inside of here you have We have, I don't know if I own these, I don't. So inside of here, we have the copper mine. The copper mine's inside of here. The nickel mine is inside. The clay pit is inside. The coal mine and the ore mine are all inside of here. Uh, let, me, let me grab a truck. Uh, let's just grab another truck real quick. So inside of here you'll have all of your mines and then a bunch of products. This will be like completely full with product on the ground. So you'll have to scoop the product off the ground before you can get to the mines. And then I have the monorail running through the mine. So you'll, as you're in here working you'll see the monorail th run through here. So, ore mine, coal mine, silt mine, I'm sorry, clay pit. So, massive area in here for mining. There'll be a ton of stuff on the ground you can scoop up to get you started. Yeah, the space in here is massive. And then it, it, there's a dual purpose to the mountain. I'll take you on top of the mountain and I'll show you the top of the mountain. So a bunch of mining inside of here. And then get back on your ferry with your mining products and drive back out. So this will get you back out. Um, 
So just drive your mining equipment here and then head back out. We're going to head over here a minute. Uh, yeah, we can visit the sawmill. So I have, uh, let me take flight. <clears throat> So over here you have you know, a log cell point and wood chip cell point. And then this is right by the center mountain and the vehicle shop. So down here, oops, wrong one. So down here, I want to turn flight off. All right, so down here, let me jump in the water. And let me grab my store delivery mod. And again, these will be built into the map. I just haven't gotten that far yet. Let's see if I can pop the wheels out of the ground on this one. There we go. So you have a place to park your ferry right here. And then inside a center mountain, there's also going to be the, um, I think the gravel and stone mine will be inside of here this one's a little bit smaller this is center mountain So you don't have far to drive the ferry to come in to do your mining and drive back out. It's really simple, close, single player friendly. So in here, yeah, you have your gravel mine and your stone mine in here. And then we'll put product on the ground to get you started. And if I grab myself a fishing boat. So out here. I don't have any of the fishing spots in the water done yet, but over here you can pick up your um, earthworms. You'll have to deliver earthworms by truck from the earthworm factory. And I think I have three earthworm factories built into the map already. So we'll have a bunch of these fishing boats built into the map. So I come over here. Um, I should get a start. Oh, I don't own it. So, we, yeah, we do own it. So, if I can pick up my earthworms here, take them out. I don't have the fishing spots in the water yet, but come out here, drop your earthworms off, pick up your fish. So, let me get the earthworms out of the boat. All right, so pretend we've just done a bunch of fishing. Bring your fish back into your boat pull into the next warehouse and we should get a symbol to unload our fish unload our fish and then let me get parked over closer to the dock where I can jump out of the boat so drop off come up here with your truck pick up your fish from here and then take them deliver them to the fish processing plant now, in, on top of the mountains, let me get another truck. Uh, grab my store delivery mod. So let me grab another truck real quick. So I don't have to drive back across the map. Uh, I forgot to change the color. Today's lime green. Today's the color. The lime green is the color of the day today. So down here, drop off your, sell your logs here, sell your wood chips here. This cell points in and working. That's going to be like, I don't have that one working yet. That's going to be like one of three fish processing plants. So if we come back this way, back to town and then head up the mountain I 
I got to check messages too real quick. So you're going to have to bring a load of earthworms up here with you. Now we're on top of the center of the map, which is the, the so the underneath this lake is the gravel mine and the stone mine we were just looking at. So on top of those mines, we'll have I'll have a fishing boat built into the this lake where you can do some fishing and then you'll have to bring your earthworms up with the truck and then pick up your fish and then take them down to the fish processing plant. And then we have the Castle Cafe which will be a sell point. And then now we're going to go across the bridge on top of the big mining island. Now it's the only way to get on, this is the only way to get in and out of this area of the map is across this bridge. So again, you'll have to bring your earthworms over. I put a farmhouse up here if you want to live on top of Mining Island. All you have to do is put your sleep trigger down. So you'll have a farmhouse up here and you'll have a silo here to get you started. And then now we're on top of the big Mining Island we were just inside of. So you bring your earthworms over here. Drop them off here jump in your fishing boat, do all your fishing, and then pick your earth, pick up your fish here, and then take them to the fish processing plant. So inside of this lake we'll have a couple more fishing boats built in. So you can go fishing there. I'll just, let me take in flight mode really quick, I'll show you. Oh, wrong one, hold on, over here. Flight mode. So, big lake up here on top of Mining Island for fishing. And then just a massive um, meadow if you want to do silage or put all your animal pens down. Plenty of room up here if you want to call this your home. Um, it's pretty much center of the map. Well, it's center mountain, center of the map. So it's close to the center of the map. So another big area up here. You could drive all the way around this lake. I'm not. I was going to put a field up here, but I'm not. I'm going to leave this a big grass meadow. So that's what's done so far. I'm going to get out of here. We're going to jump back in the editor. I just need to check messages really quick. Make sure nothing's pressing. Uh, nothing pressing. Right, let's get out of here. Let's fix a couple things I saw before we go in and build the rest of the corner we were working on. I have to fix this traffic splines messed up. And then I forgot to put a couple of railroad crossings in. So let's drag a couple railroad crossings down here. So let's put one here. down on my speed. Let's just get a crossing here and then I need another one 
down here. That's uh, gonna fit. Oh, one need one more. So throw another one over here. All right, now I need to fix this spline. So the only way I fix this spline is I have to open it up. Oh crap! Where's my start and end point? So it's spline four that's messed up. So let me make spline one invisible. Spline two invisible. Spline three invisible. We're going to have to fix spline four. And I'm going to have to open up the spline and redo a lot of it. Let me find out. Let me figure out where the start and the end is and see where I'm going to want to go from there. It's the only way to fix that jagged edge. Okay, so we have to start back here which means crap. I'm going to have to delete half the spline to put it back in. Alright, so let me... Where's my start and my end? Right here. Let me go down on my speed a little bit. Alright, let me open up the spline and let me find either the beginning or the end. Okay, that's the start. Um, all right, so I'm gonna need to start deleting points. So I'm gonna have to put half of the spline back in, which really sucks because I hate traffic splines. But we got to come over here and fix this mess. I've seen this happen a couple times and. There's no explanation why the spline goes crazy like that sometimes. So let's delete all these points. We're going to have to put a couple curves back in. We're going to have to put half of the spline back in. But I want to get this fixed before we go back and put more fields in. Crazy Moose 3, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, let me get this fixed. All right, so that's going to take us back, oh crap, all the way down here. All right. Would have been easier to just delete this whole spline and put it back in. All right, so let's pull you back down. And it won't take me long to get this spline fixed. I could pretty much pull it straight down to this turn. Uh, let's see if we can't get this turn the correct way without it being messed up. Actually, I'm going to leave that there. We're going to pull the end around to the start. It's easier for me to go in the other direction. So we're going to bring our point over to the end, and we're going to work on bringing this back around to the start. Take my speed down. Right, let's get this, these couple turns fixed. This loop gave me problems. It was throwing all kind of errors, and I ended up redoing it like twice, and it's still giving me problems. Alright, so let's pull it down. Right, 
now we got to go up and over this crossing. Pull it across. We'll get it back on the level and then we'll start bringing it around the corner. We'll go around this bend. Take this down. And a big ninety degree sweep. I thought I was done with traffic splines. Well, until we get to 22. Now we have an up and over to do. So we got to go up and over and do a turn at the same time. This ought to be fun. So let me pull you up. Continue our way around. Gets us around. That should be the last up and over we have to do. It's got to get back to the start. Yep, so we just got to come down one more turn. Now we can close this loop, and it should be fine next time we go back in game. get this last turn done.
All right, now we should be able to line this up. Uh, we're almost there. Let's put one more point there. I should be able to close that loop. All right, so that's going to fix that traffic spline. So let's make that one invisible. All right, so that should be fixed next time we go back in game. Let's get back to this corner where we were working. Now, before I get back to that corner, I need I need the small apartments. We've got to drag that across the map. And we're going to have to make it work. So I'm going to take this guy. Yeah, we're going to take this guy. I'm going to duplicate him. We're going to drag him down to this other corner where we're working. And hopefully, my goal today is to get this corner of the map done. And it's almost lunch time, so I'm going to get out of here for lunch soon. All right, now we're going to have to modify this apartment complex to fit alongside the uh, monorail over here. I'm thinking maybe this little corner. No, let's give myself some room. Let's put it out here. All right, let's get rid of this building. Let's pull this guy over because we're going to have to put a monorail stop on top of here somehow. Or I could, oh, hold on, let me back that out. Let me back that out. Let me back that out. Oh, I may shorten this field up. I may shorten this field up and then split it the road with it. Put part of the apartments on that side and part of the apartments on this side. Hold on, let me come over here a second. No, there's not enough room over there. We're going to shorten up field 7. We're going to put... Yeah, we're going to change that up a little bit. We're going to go down here. We are going to let's push this over as far as I can get it. Right about there for now. Let's pull. Uh, before I mess with this, let's shorten this field up a little bit. All right, let's go back to. I'm on square. Let's go to terrain detail. We're going to push. We're going to make this field a little bit smaller. So we're going to have to come back in and fix the field dimensions. Yeah, let's leave it there for now. Let's come over here. Let's pull this building over so it's on the other side of the road, which means this tree has to go. So we come back to this building. Let's pull it about here. And then we'll take this guy and we'll have an apartment building splitting the road. Uh, yeah. And we'll have our monorail on top so you can drop workers off here and pick workers up here. We can do bus stop on the bottom. So if you put a factory up here you can deliver your workers with a monorail, pick them up with the bus, and then deliver them right here to a factory. And 
And so I just need to fix this field and fix that road. Okay. So let's come up here. Close splines with close places for a minute. Let's come up to fields. Let's throw our fields back on. We have to fix field 7. Field 7, we have to make shorter. So corner 3 has to come back. Corner 2 has to come back. So field 7 is now where it needs to be. All right. Turn that off. Now we get our grass back. So let's go back to grass and take this down across here. Um, I'm just going to grasp this in for now. We're not going to finish this apartment today because I want to put all of the triggers in at the same time. So we'll put every apartment complex we put in for the monorail to pick up and drop off passengers and the bus station to pick and drop off passengers. I'll work on all of those at the same time. So I can just pull this road over a little bit further. So let's Yeah, let me pull this back. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me, my sinuses have been killing me. Zyrtax not working. The Allegra is not working. I actually have a doctor's appointment on Friday. So he better do something. Or I'm going to find a new doctor. Let's pull you straight out to here instead. So now we're going to have to fix the grass. Uh, let's take the grass off the road. And then we'll put the grass back over here. And then we'll fix this apartment complex. Another day we'll put, um, we'll build it a parking lot. We'll put um, cars and stuff in. But right now it's a placeholder. I'm, just, I'm curious to see what it looks like now when we drive under it with the car, um, what it's going to look like. But let's get our next field in. Actually, I'm going to grab a lunch. I think then we're going to come back and put our next field in. So field eight is going to go right here. Uh, should be one second. Let me pop out and see what my sister's doing for lunch. I'll be right back.
All right, sorry about that. I am back. I'm going to save this. I'm going to throw you all an ending soon. Uh, I'm going to jump off of here for lunch. So I'm going to save the editor and close it. Give me about an hour. We have an air, quick air to run. So give me about an hour, hour and a half. And then we're going to put field eight in, and we'll work on the little island. We'll put a farmhouse, a silo. We'll get the meadow done. We'll get that little island done as well. But appreciate everybody stopping in. Um, we'll get this. We'll get as far as we can today, and then we'll probably pick it up here tomorrow. I don't do. I don't plan on doing much until.